Mistral. And in keeping with all the M's there, it's Megadeth headlining here on the first night. I've got Dave and David joining me here once again. So nice to see you guys again. How are you doing? Very good. Nice to see you too. Thank you. Let's just backtrack a little bit to the European tour. How did that go for Megadeth? The European tour? I can't hear you. It's loud in here. Uh, since the European tour we did, uh, we went to Japan and uh, we played a couple of shows in Germany, the Rock'em Ring and Rock'em Park. And uh, then we actually went back over to Europe again and uh, played a couple of festivals, one in Switzerland, one in Denmark, played a couple of uh, shows in France. And then we started the Reckoning Day Tour, which is the North American tour that uh, is um, Fear Factory, Flotsam and Jetsam, Corn, and ourselves. Fantastic lineup. How have these American dates been going? Pretty good so far. It's been really hot. So, um, I mean, there's a lot of people that have been dying in the surrounding cities, and there's a big concern about that. So when we come to the shows, a lot of people are getting dehydrated and, and they're getting really fatigued. But, you know, the most important thing is they're getting more music for their money. You know? Fantastic lineup. What about you guys on stage in this heat as well? Well, you know, we're all pretty fit, so it's not a problem. We talk a little bit about the um, Evolver home video because it documents the entire making of euthanasia right from the building of the studio through to the finished product. Um, were you pleased with the way the video came out? Yeah, you know, it, it's got a little humor. <laughs> it's got, got a little humorous twist to it, so you know, it shows a lighter side of us and it shows how records are actually made and it's really important that you know people get to see what's all involved in it. You know, I've always wondered how do you make a record, you know? very very informative it's a great video and just quickly before we go into the new reckoning day video um, this video has been banned in America what's the story there yeah it's not being shown on MTV in America as we understand you're playing it though right so uh, and it's basically uh, a lot of, uh, of our own footage shot uh, by various people out with us around the world and uh, so a lot of footage from uh, from Finland actually and it's and it's it's basically a day in the life with Megadeth, you know, around the world. Oh, fantastic. Well, let's see it now. As David said, a day in the life of Megadeth. This is their brand new video, Reckoning Day, coming at you on Headbangers. David and Dave from Megadeth are still here, and um, I think the latest up-to-date news on the on the band is that um, you're actually already thinking about your next record. Where have you got to with that? We've been writing songs out on tour. We've been using sound checks a lot as, as time to write, and uh, now we're kind of at a point where we're just talking about all the logistics of putting it together and the time frame to do it and things like that. And so that's, that's where we're at. I mean, we're, we're doing the Reckoning Day tour to the end of August, and then we're going to South America till uh, mid-September, something like that. There's a couple of other tentative things, and then uh, our plans after that are to get in and start working on the next record. So you've actually had a chance to write stuff on the road and stuff, and it's, it just seems that these albums come around so quickly, I must say. But we saw how you um, recorded Euthanasia on the Evolver video, and all the very intricate stages. Would you ever record an album like that again, or are you going to try something completely different? <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, that was uh, a lot simpler than Countdown to Extinction was. Countdown to Extinction, it was very meticulous when we did the record. There was, uh, there was just so much scrutinizing going on with the playing. You know, I came in there and, and uh, for example, when we were doing the bass parts, I came in there and, and um, I had heard something that, that these guys were, were doing and I said, we need to change that. And, and the producer that was working with us got really angry because I said, look, I wanted to change this. And Dave changed it, but the other guy didn't hear it. And then I totally shot myself in the foot when I did that because from that moment on, he started critiquing my guitar parts like oh, we right. critiqued the bass parts. Right. So the album <laughs> after that part... Just, it, it just became hellish. Right. So um, tell us a little bit, of, I know it's early days, but how do you think this material um, is, is going to kind of progress um, from, we saw a big progression on um, euthanasia. Is there going to be any surprises on this record, do you think, or is it too early to say? You know, I think it's too early to say. I mean, we, our records really take shape once we're in the studio, right. you know. I mean, they really do. It's like we can do a lot of preparation and pre-production and things like that, but it's like once we're in there, they, that's where they really start to take shape. I mean, we had a lot of material for euthanasia. We didn't know how long it was going to, you know, how many songs we were going to record until once we were in there, we narrowed it down to pick out which ones we wanted to do. And so that, that for us, I think, is a big, 
that's one of the coolest parts about being in the studio for us is we get a chance to like let the record further develop while we're in the studio right. you know it's good to be creative in yes. that environment and just really just to follow on from that very quickly Dave that that euthanasia album set a new pattern of working for Megadeth didn't it so you can take that method of working onto the next record we could if we wanted to uh, but <laughs> actually it's not really so much a new pattern as it was going back to how we did peace cells right. So it's really fun for us right now, and, and we really in, are enjoying the whole writing and recording process. So, like I said earlier, you know, we've already got a third of the record r recorded. We just need to go and do another eight songs, and we've got another record out. Good. Good. Well, I wish you lots of luck with that, and thank you for talking to me here at Milwaukee Metal Mania. And that's just about all we've got time for, thanks to Megadeth. That's their very latest news, um, starting work on a new album, I think, in November, right? So we can look at... Look at look. Listen and look out for that. Um, we're going to go to commercials right now, our last break, and then after that we invite you into the pit, and it's hosted by Abaddon from Venom. So stick around for Abaddon with Into the Pit, but taking us into that break, Megadeth, headlining here at Milwaukee Metal Mania. I'm too much, and I'm too 